This video is for training purposes only. Always use approved technical manuals effective to aircraft type serial number when performing aircraft maintenance. This video is an introduction to Boeing 767 nose wheel removal and installation and the preferred method of installation for the outside threaded axle configuration using the Atlas socket adapter PN DT320043-501. It is important to note that the Boeing 767 nose wheel has two different axle configurations. Internally threaded axle configuration and outside threaded axle configuration. The inner thread axle configuration uses a grooved axle washer. While the externally threaded axle configuration uses a tang axle washer. The following GSE equipment and consumables are needed to perform a nose wheel removal and installation. The Axle Jack, COM 11243. This is used for both configurations. The Atlas Socket Adapter, PN DT320043501. This is for externally threaded axle configuration. The Adapter Wrench, SPL9342. This is for internally threaded axle configuration. The thread protector for external threaded axle configuration is SPL12974. The Torque Wrench, STD12814. This one is used for both configurations. Grease Aircraft General Purpose Wide Temperature Mobile 28, used for both configurations. As well as Grease Aircraft General Purpose Wide Temperature Aeroshell 22. Wheel Brake Change Dolly, COM1818, used for both axle configurations to slide wheel assembly off or on the axle. In the following training video, we're going to see the steps for nose wheel removal and installation. Prepare for the removal. Please remember to make entry in the aircraft's logbook of installation of downlock pins. Make sure that the downlocks are installed on the nose and main landing gear. Install the nose landing gear towing lever pin. Remove only one of the wheel and tire assemblies from the nose gear at a time. If you remove the two wheel and tire assemblies at the same time, structural damage and injuries to personnel can occur. Lift up the axle with an axle jack. Do this sufficiently so that there is clearance between the tire and the ground. After this, deflate the tire.
On to removal of the nose wheel tire assembly. This is for outside threaded axle configuration. Remove the axle nut as follows. It should be noted, if using axle nut safety socket PN DT3 20043-501, ensure the reset pin is pressed prior to use. Step 1. Remove the lock bolt at two locations. Step 2. Remove the axle nut with an adapter wrench. PN DT3 20043501. Do not use the torque wrench as a breaker bar. Use an actual breaker bar to break torque or loosen an axle nut. After this, remove the Tang axle washer. Make sure you place removed parts on a soft rag or in a non-magnetic tray or container. Do not place parts on the ground where they will pick up foreign material, which will result in foreign object damage. Now install the thread protector assembly. This is a critical step. The use of thread protectors not only protects the axle threads, but also ensures the tang washer was removed from the wheel assembly being replaced. Put the wheel brake changer dolly under the wheel and tire assembly. After this, remove the wheel and tire assembly. Make sure that you keep the axle nut tang axle washer, and the wheel spacer for the installation. This particular step is critical for correct installation. Mark the reason for the tire removal on the tire to aid the inspectors when they examine it. Now for installation of the nose wheel tire assembly on outside threaded axle configuration. Clean parts with isopropyl alcohol before reinstalling on the axle. This is critically important to make sure the parts are clean before installation. Because the washer is in direct contact with the wheel bearing, it is critical that it is clean before installation as any attached foreign material or particles can result in extensive damage to the wheel bearings. Examine the wheel and tire assembly before you install it on the airplane. Examine the part of the axle that you can see for evidence of scoring, galling, or corrosion. Make sure that the wheel spacer is installed on the nose gear axle. Warning: Damage to the wheel bearing and the wheel will occur if you fail to install the spacer. Apply a thin layer of D00378 Aeroshell 22 grease or D00233 Mobile 28 grease to the axle in the area where the wheel bearings touch the axle. Do not lubricate the axle surfaces between the wheel bearings. Lubricate the axle bearings and the wheel bearings with D00378 Aeroshell 22 grease or the D00233 Mobile 28 grease. Put the wheel and tire assembly on the wheel brake changer dolly and slide it onto the axle. Remove the thread protector on the axle. Align the tang on the tang axle washer with the keyway on the axle and slide it onto the axle. Missing to install the tang axle washer or wheel spacer will cause serious damage.
to the wheel assembly or axle. Now engage the threads of the axle nut with the threads of the axle and tighten the axle nut as follows. Using axle nut safety socket PN DT320043-501, ensure the reset pin is pressed prior to usage. The safety socket has a pin which will disengage an internal clutch and prevent torque from being applied if the wheel spacer and axle washer are missing. While you turn the wheel, tighten the axle nut to 76 foot-pounds to 92 foot-pounds with torque wrench STD12814 and adapter wrench DT320043-501 to make sure the wheel spacer and axle washer are installed. The socket PN DT320043-501 is designed to prevent the torque from being applied to the wheel retaining nut if the spacer and axle washer are not installed. After this, stop the wheel. Loosen the nut to almost zero torque. While you turn the wheel again, tighten the nut to 34 foot-pounds. Caution, do not apply more than the maximum specified torque when you tighten the parts. Damage to the parts can occur if you apply too much torque. If it is necessary, continue to tighten the nut to a maximum of 75 foot-pounds to align the lock bolt holes. Note, do not loosen the nut to align the lock bolt holes if you cannot get the alignment of the lock bolt holes at the maximum allowable torque. Fully loosen the nut and do the procedure to tighten the nut again. Do these steps to make sure that the installation of the wheel spacer and the tang axle washer are correct. Do these steps to install the lock bolts to lock the axle nut to the axle. Do a check on the self-locking feature of the nuts. Install the lock bolt, the washer, and the nut at two locations. Use a torque wrench to tighten the lock bolts to 75 inch pound to 85 inch pound above run on torque. Make sure that the axle nut is not flush and that there are no axle threads visible on the axle. Look for the axle thread. If you see axle threads, remove the wheel to make sure that the wheel spacer and the tang axle washer are installed. If the wheel spacer and tang axle washer are not installed, install them. Please remove the Atlas sticker affixed to the hub of the new wheel and tire assembly. Make sure that the tire is inflated with nitrogen to the correct pressure. Lower the nose gear with the axle jack. Remove the towing lever lock pin. Make sure that the down locks are removed from the nose and main landing gear. Make sure to write the removal of the lockdown pins in the aircraft's logbook.